A new study is shedding light on just how much of the active ingredient in sunscreen is being absorbed into your body. FDA researchers collected blood samples from 24 volunteers who applied sunscreen several times a day for four days. Here in the newsroom to talk more about what this means for people who wear sunscreen, 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy. We know sunscreen is so important, so I think most people use it at some point. What should we take away from this study? The first thing to take away is the FDA did not say stop using sunscreen. This was a very small study and really it just told them we need to look further because there was some chemical absorption of the chemicals in these sunscreens. If you're really worried about this, the best thing to do is use one of the mineral type sunscreens that doesn't get absorbed by your skin. It stays on top of your skin like zinc oxide. But as you and I know, those are not comfortable. And they, they can be a little sticky, especially if you're it. sending a, a child to school or daycare, it can get a little sticky. Clothes are another option that people could consider if they're worried about the absorption into your skin. Absolutely. I think, you know, for children especially, they have, they come rash guards or sun mm -hmm. guards where the UV protection is built into the clothing. I think that's great. So long sleeve, long pants, don't forget hats, don't forget sunglasses, but those are options as well. But no one is saying stop using sunscreen. St sunscreen is still going to be your best protection against skin cancer, which is the most common cancer in, the, in America. And you expect the FDA will, this is enough, they'll look further into this. They will absolutely be doing more research. And again, they're saying keep using your sunscreen because that's your best protection. You want to look for a sunscreen that's at least SPF 30. Okay. You want to be broad spectrum, have UVA and UVB protection. But the best thing you can do is really avoid the sun if possible. Stay out of the sun between 10 and 4. Tanning beds are just as bad. And, you know, think about going to your dermatologist to have a annual or two twice a year mole and skin check. And these are all things that are going to help protect you from sun skin cancer and the sun. All right, something to think about on a rainy day because the sun <laughs> will make another appearance soon enough. All right, Dr. Reddy, thank you. Thank you.